the riffing stuff that you'll love it. You'll love it. You ready? Okay, well, here we go. I have trust yeah. issues, and you're not the type of person I want to invest my life trust. I think you should invest your trust with me. Hello, cheers. Welcome to another episode of Ranger and Chow. Uh, it's good to see you all back again, guys. Make sure we're subscribing down that corner there. Make sure that you're picking on Ranger as much as you can in the comments. Tell everybody how much you love me. Hitting up our Patreon page. And make sure you have a fresh beverage in hand to enjoy our content. Ranger, what do you got for us today? What, what, did you just knock your mic over? Yeah, I knocked the microphone over while I was going to the fridge to get myself a new beer. Well, that's great. So my pointless rambling then will just be <laughs> as your microphone <laughs> falls down. Pretty much. I should, right, here's I a, should record these separately, but okay. Here's a question for you. Let's talk about an easy subject. Right, I've got one for you. Everybody, everybody, by the way, Everyone, please hit that subscribe button because that is important that we get the subscribers. So you, and you guys can give us some feedback on these little topics we do too. I love it. If you, if you hate the topics that we put up, that's great. Bag us. And if you like it, let us know you like it and why. Or if you've got a topic, pitch a topic to us. Put it in the comments and we'll talk about it because the one I have today is a ripper. Okay. I know a person, a female person who is currently using a gigolo. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself a gigolo and <laughs> I wouldn't say you know my wife that well. So, so a, a full fair paying gigolo, right? So this chick is paying for this guy to come around her house and have sex. Now, obviously it's been working the other way for many, 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 many centuries. I understand that this is the old, oldest, what do they call it? The oldest industry there is, but. I, I don't know about you, but I've never had enough money to make that transaction work. So, <laughs> but, but here's the thing. She's taken it that step further now. She, she, she's not longer just enjoying the gigolo benefits of the gigolo, but she's now taking the gigolo out to dinner and stuff like that. Well, is she taking him out or is she going out on his money? How's that working? No, well, she's taking him out to dinner and he's charging for the hours and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying here. So the, the question is... What an investment. The oh. question is, when it crosses over from the gigolo stage to the paying the person to hang out with you stage, is that more wrong or just wrong? Well, is that when you start to become the definition of an escort? Because oh, you're accompanying someone on... Yeah, you're escorting that's them to their... What's an escort? What's the difference, really? I mean, we could Google the definition, but... The escorts, yeah. the escorts are the sexy-looking woman you take with you to the ball, isn't she? Because you can't get one. Yeah, and I think that falls very well in line with prostitution and lady of the night. I think it's just a different term for... Well, the, the, g- the, gigolos are, the gigolos are prostitute. Let's Ooh. face it. He's having sex for money. But see, see, the amazing thing there is, the amazing thing there... No, right. Is how no, does... no, no. He's not a prostitute. He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> no double standards in this world. How does he make it work? <laughs> how does he make it work? Would you like, let's say, let's say you're not attracted to the person. I, might, I think you get you... to make it work if you, you know. No, but does, does the pill only work when you're aroused? No, I, I'm pretty sure the pill just forces blood to that particular. What's your, what, what's, what's been your experience with them? Well, so far, I have been offered a couple. <laughs> no one has ever come through with one. You know, I have had at least three mates of mine that go, they're the greatest thing in the world. You've got to try one, chow. I'll be like, yeah, cool. Hook us up. Yeah. Sure, the <laughs> missus appreciate it. Hook us it, up. It eventuates. So. <laughs> Yeah, you know, one day I'll do some I'll do some field research for you, and I'll come back to you on that one. So if you just send us some of your collection. So you're telling me you 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 honestly believe that the only way that this male prostitute is making his appendage work is by taking a pill. Oh no, I'm just saying it's, it's easy out if you're not really down to clown that day. But it, but it must be because what happens if performance happens enhancing if... drugs like let's face it if you're particularly tired and you don't want to turn up to play your game of basketball and you just do a, <clears throat> a quick wake me up all of a sudden you're if... playing your top game but it's illegal if he's if he's just come from a client and he's already done his job unintended yeah so 
how does he do his job at the next client? Because I mean, how many times can you do that in a day? Now I might be getting a bit old, but uh, you know, you'd have to be a pretty fit young whippersnapper to be doing it every hour all day, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, well, and look, I suppose depending on how much you charge, it depends on how leisurely you can be with your appointments, doesn't it? Yeah, he might be a very no, eager I, entrepreneur and want to make lots of money. I, I, and therefore, come up with some different stimulus. I, I I find it amazing that any woman feels the need to hire a gigolo. I mean, surely women can get laid if, if they want to, right? Pretty easily. Oh, let's face it. There are many and many people out there as good looking as you that are willing to just, you know, go for gold. So they don't have to pay, but... Don't, don't, don't drag me into this thing. There's only two of us here, mate. Either <laughs> you or me. <laughs> and look at this head. How could you say no to that? <laughs> hey, I noticed you're growing a bit of a bit of a beard there, Chow. What's going on? Uh, yeah, so I'm in lockdown. And I have, uh, I have a three-year-old that is in lockdown with me while I work. Yeah. Let him shave you. You say that. I was letting him put, have a bath the other night and he's playing put, with all his toys on the end oh. of the bath. And next thing I'm actually on my phone, great parenting, and he's rubbing something on my leg. I'm like, what the hell are you doing, man? Yeah, he's found one of mum's razors and he's shaving the back of my leg with the razor. I'm like, eh, you don't do that. <laughs> Mate, I reckon that video would get a lot of traction. Your little three-year-old shaving you. I reckon, I reckon that would be something to see. All right. Well, if we can get a comment, someone requesting to see a video of my child shaving my face, I'll let him have a crack with a razor at my head. I, I've got. I've got to right. say that just just between you and me, right? Don't 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 say this to anybody else out there. But our video has lost the plot. We started off with gigolos, and now we're talking about a three year old shaving your face. So I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how we get to this point, but something's wrong. It's, it's clearly got a. We've we've left the railroad something there somewhere down the track, but uh, oh. anyway, I feel we've got another topic out of the way. But uh, gigolos, wow, what a yeah. job! Yeah, I, look, even, I, I, I feel I've made some wrong decisions in my life. Career could be one of them. Yeah, I, I could have gone down that line, I suppose. I could have been an astronaut. I I couldn't have. Well, yeah, they tell you when you're in pri- they tell you when you're in primary school you can be anything you want. So I wanted to be an astronaut. Yeah, look, I suppose it's a matter of perspective. You could have taken a lot of drugs in your life and just been out in space in your own little world. You astronaut. could have believed. <laughs> All right. So, um, please to yeah, our subscribers. As as goes, no, you can't. Believe. Click down in that little red button in the corner and go subscribe. And uh, if you want to leave us any feedback, do that. And if, if you want us to discuss a topic, just write it there in the comments and, and we will we'll talk about your topic. Easy and if done. you want little chow to shave my face, uh, hit us up. Yeah, hit us up for that. I want to see the three-year-old little chow shaving big chow's face. I'll pay for that. All right. Yeah, you can pay for the medical bill as well. <laughs> All right. Cheers, big ears. Thank you very Cheers, much for coming. Buddy. Talk to you later. Talk right? to you. What was that? My wife says she doesn't enjoy trying to get emails.